Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Part 11. Burger King in Japan has released two black hamburgers called the Kuro Diamond and the Kuro Pearl with everything including the bun, the sauce, and the cheese colored black with squid ink. There's an artist named Scott Wade who is famous for creating dust art using only his fingers and a brush. When tractor owner Ferruccio Lamborghini voiced his frustration over the clutch in his Ferrari to the car's founder Enzo Ferrari, Enzo insulted him telling him that the problem was with the driver not the car. So Ferruccio decided to start his own car company and thus the Lamborghini was born. Putting dried tea bags in smelly shoes or gym bags is an easy and quick way to absorb any unpleasant odors. The creator of Peter Pan, J.M. Barry, gave away the rights to the franchise to the Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital so that they could always collect royalties and fund the hospital. A woman from Michigan named Barbara Soper gave birth on 888-999 and 101010. The odds of this are 50 million to one. The largest in indoor water park in the world is the Sigaya Ocean Dome in Japan at 300 meters long and 100 meters wide. There are underwater rivers that flow along the ocean floor, like this one found in Mexico. There is a tribe in India called the Warcasis that has been passing down for generations the art of manipulating tree roots to create a system of living bridges. In 2005, Swedish millionaire Johan Eliash purchased a 400,000 acre plot of land in the Amazon rainforest from a logging company for the sole purpose of its preservation. There is a town in Alaska called Talkeetna that has had a cat named Stubbs as its honorary mayor since 1997. In 2011, a 46 year old man named Mark Bradford hunted down and choked a 13 year old boy who killed him several times in Call of Duty. The original founders and owners of Macy's, Isidore and Ida Strauss, both died on the Titanic and they were the old couple in the movie who went to sleep as the ship went down, which is what actually happened. There is a method of art called tree shaping, where living trees are manipulated to create forms of art, such as this living garden chair by artist Peter Cook. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station see 15 sunrises and 15 sunsets a day, averaging one every 45 minutes due to the station's proximity to the Earth and speed of its orbit. A 102-year-old man named Alan Swift from Connecticut drove the same 1928 Rolls-Royce Phantom to one for close to 77 years before he died in 2005. This is a high-speed macro photo of a water droplet reflecting a background image and it's just one of over 975 amazing photos taken by artist Marcus Ruglis. This is a mirror cabin called the Lucid Stead created by 70-year-old artist Philip K. Smith in California. It's made of timber, mirrors, and custom electronic equipment and draws hundreds of art lovers every year. A study by the University of Westminster in the UK determined that watching horror movies movies can burn up to almost 200 calories, the same as a half hour walk. It would cost about $42,000 to attend Hogwarts for a year if it were real. Yes, somebody actually took the time to calculate the real world cost. In the Despicable Me movies, the gibberish that the minions speak is actually a functioning language written by the directors called Minionese. In 2012, a woman from New York named Deborah Stevens donated a kidney to her boss and was fired almost immediately after. Jesse James, the notorious outlaw from the 1800s, once gave a widow who housed him enough money to pay off her debt collector and then robbed the debt collector as the man left the widow's home. Every factory employee at Ben and Jerry's gets to take home three pints of ice cream every day. In the ancient Persian Empire, men used to debate ideas twice, once sober and once drunk, as they believed an idea had to sound good in both states in order to be considered a good idea. The average annual salary of a professional NBA cheerleader is $56,000. A man named Peng Shui Lin from China had half his body amputated after being run over by a truck and not only recovered, but opened his own bargain supermarket called, wait for it, the half man, half price store. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Brazil prisons offer their prisoners the chance to reduce their prison sentence by four days, up to 48 days a year, for every book they read and write a report on. Honey badgers have been known to eat porcupines and poisonous snakes, raid beehives for honey, kidnap baby cheetahs, and steal food from hungry lions. Because, you know, as everyone knows, honey badgers don't give a shit. This is the world's largest and longest 3D street art created by 3D Joe and Max in London. It took 10 days to complete and is 106.5 meters long. 90 to 95% of mobile phone sales in Japan are for waterproof devices because the Japanese are so fond of their mobile phones, they even use them in the shower. A California couple named Helen and Les Brown were both born on December 31st, 1918, were married for 75 years, and then died one day apart at the age of 94 in 2000. 
2013. In 1939, the New York Times predicted that the television would fail because the average American family would not have enough time to sit around watching it. Former billionaire Chuck Feeney has given away over 99% of his $6.3 billion to help underprivileged kids go to college. He's now worth only $2 million. Before alarm clocks were invented, there was a profession called a knocker up, which involved going from client to client and tapping on their windows or banging on their doors with long sticks until they were awake. It lasted until the 1920s. In 2011, photographer Eric Solheim created a picture made of 365 slices, with each slice being from every day of the year. In some cities in the United States, such as Rialto in California, police officers are required to wear a camera in order to document their interactions with civilians. In those cities, public complaints against officers dropped by 88%. The Lusa University in Halifax, Nova Scotia has opened a puppy room where students can go and play with puppies to relieve stress. There is a a man named Tim Harris with Down Syndrome who owns and runs a restaurant in Albuquerque, New Mexico called Tim's Place where they serve breakfast, lunch, and hugs. It's the only known restaurant owned by a person with Down Syndrome and is known as the world's friendliest restaurant. Scientists from ATR Computational Neuroscience Laboratories in Tokyo, Japan have successfully developed a technology that can put thoughts on a computer screen. 63-year-old former math professor Joan Ginther who has a PhD in statistics from Stanford University has won the scratch and win lottery four separate times for a grand total of 20.4 million dollars. She never revealed how she did it, but the odds of accomplishing what she did is one in 18 septillion. In the early 1990s, Michael Jackson tried to buy Marvel Comics so that he could play Spider-Man in his own self-produced movie. Japanese people who visit Paris sometimes have to be sent back to Japan because they suffer from extreme shock known as Paris Syndrome because they were completely unprepared for the reality of Paris not being the greatest place in the world. In 2013, the Netherlands closed eight prisons due to a lack of criminals. There is a luxury hotel in Fiji called the Poseidon Resort where, for $15,000 a week, you can sleep on the ocean floor and you even get a button to feed the fish right outside your window. Percussive maintenance is the technical term for hitting something until it works. In 2005, there was a reality show that piloted in Germany called Sperm Race, where 12 contestants donated their sperm to a lab where doctors observed their seed race towards an egg. The winner of the sperm race got a Porsche. There's an Italian artist named Emmanuel Descanio who makes incredible hyper-realistic artwork using nothing more than pencils of different shades. In 2013, a homeless man named Billy Ray Harris returned an engagement ring to a woman who accidentally dropped it into his change cup. The owner of the ring, Sarah Darling, was so overjoyed that she and her fiance set up a fundraising page and raised $100 $187,000 from public donations, which allowed Billy to get a house and a job. And finally, in 1967, a magazine called the Berkeley Barb published a fake story about extracting hallucinogenic chemicals from bananas to raise moral questions about banning drugs. Unfortunately, people didn't realize it was a hoax and began smoking banana peels to try to get high. And that's it for this time, guys. Big thanks to the Fine Bros for helping me out with this episode. If you want to check them out, click either Benny or Raffi's face. No, 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 just my face. Just my face. No, mine, mine. No. I'm, I'm nuzzled. <laughs> Either one will get you to their channels, and I will see you all back here next Saturday with a less nuzzly version of a video. Peace! Former billionaire Chuck Feeney has given away over 99% of his $6.3 billion to help underprivileged kids go to college. He's now worth only $2 million. Shake that man's hand! Hunted down and choked a 13-year-old boy who killed him several times in Call of Duty. It's ridiculous. Your face on that is awesome. That was Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Now we can go. Now we can go, right? Oh. Guys. <laughs> Guys, what? Guys, what? No, forget this video. <laughs> 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 I wish we had ice cream here. Oh, well. Eating just for better yeah, days. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Or can I? <laughs> Before alarm clocks were invented, there was a profession called a knocker up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I laughed.